I don't know how to behave in the company of ladies. <laughs> Madam, in my time, I've seen more women than you've seen sparrows. Three times, I fought duels over women. I've jilted 12 women. <laughs> Nine have jilted me, yes. There was a time when I played the fool. I became sentimental over women. I used honeyed words. I fawned on them, bowed and scraped. I've loved, suffered, sighed at the moon. I became limp, melted, shivered. I loved passionately, madly. Every which way, devil take me. I, I chattered away like a magpie about the emancipation of women. I ran through half my fortune as a result of my tender feelings, but now if you'll excuse me, I'm on to your ways. I've had enough. Dark eyes, passionate eyes, rubied lips, dimpled cheeks, the moon, whispers, bated breath for all of it. I wouldn't give a good goddamn. I present company accepted, but all women, young and old alike, are affected clowns, gossips, hateful, consummate beings to the very marrow of their bone, their bane, trivial, outrageously illogical, and as far as this is concerned, any sparrow can give pointers to a philosopher in petticoats. Just. Look at one of those poetical creatures. Muslin. Ethereal demigoddess. A thousand raptures. And then you look into her soul. A common crocodile. But the most revolting thing is that this crocodile imagines that she has her own privilege. A little monopoly on tender feelings. Well, to hell with it. You can hang me upside down by that nail if a woman is capable of loving anything more than her lap dog. All she can do when she's in love is slobber while the man suffers and sacrifices all her affection is shown by playing with her skirt and trying to lead him around firmly by the, by the nose. Now, you yourself have the misfortune of being a woman. So tell me, honestly, have you ever in your life met a woman who is faithful, honest, and sincere. Ah, you never have. Only old and ugly ladies are faithful and honest. In fact, you are more liable to meet a horned cat or a white woodcock than a faithful woman. 